nth term of number sequences. The nth term is the formula that describes a number sequence. In this video, we will only look at linear sequences. In these sequences, the difference between consecutive terms are the same. Before we look at some typical exam questions, let's see how to find the nth term for a number sequence. Finding the nth term. To find the nth term for a number sequence is quite easy. Look at the following number pattern, 7, 11, 15, 19. First, find the difference from 7 to 11 is add 4, from 11 to 15 is add 4, from 15 to 19 is add 4. The rule for the sequence is plus 4. This is the 4 times table and we can immediately write down 4n. Above the given sequence, write down the 4 times table. What must we do to each term of the 4 times table to get the given sequence? We must add 3 to the 4 times table. The nth term for the sequence is 4n plus 3. Just remember that n is the term number. Look at this sequence. 95, 89, 83, 77. Find the common difference. To get from 95 to 89, we minus 6. From 89 to 83 is minus 6. And from 83 to 77 is minus 6. This is the minus 6 times table and we immediately write minus 6n. Above the given sequence, write down the minus 6 times table. What must we do to minus 6 to get to 95? We must add 101. The nth term for this sequence is minus 6n add 101. Let's look at some typical 11 plus exam questions. Example 1. Think about the number sequence 3, 8, 13, 18, 23. First thing we will do is to work out the nth term for the sequence. Difference between each term is add 5, which gives us the 5 times table. Above the given sequence, we write down the 5 times table. We must subtract 2 from the 5 times table to get the given sequence. The nth term is 5n minus 2. We can now answer the questions. A. What will be the next term in the sequence? To get the next term, add 5 to 23, which gives us 28. B. What will be the 20th term? For the 20th term, n equals 20. 5 times 20 equals 100. 100 minus 2 equals 98. The 20th term is 98. C. How much smaller is the 125th term than the 130th term? For a question like this, you have two choices. Use the nth term to work out the two terms and find the difference, or you can just count how many terms there are between the 125th and the 130th term and multiply your answer with 5. There are 5 terms between 125 and 130. The difference is 5 times 5, which is 25. D. Find the nth term for the above sequence. We have already answered this question. The nth term is 5n minus 2. Example 2. Two sequences are written out as follows. Sequence A, first term equals 4, add 6 to each term, 4, 10, 16. Sequence B, first term equals 124, subtract 4 from each term. 124, 120, 116. Sequence B, take away sequence A, will be 120, 110, 100. This question is impossible to answer in a short time limit if you do not use the nth term. So before we start answering the question, let us find the nth term for the three sequences. Sequence A. First term is 4 and the rule is add 6 to each term to get the next term. 
This is the six times table and we write down six N. To get from the six times table to sequence A, we must subtract two from each term. The nth term for sequence A is six N minus two. For sequence B, the first term is 124 and the rule is subtract four from each term to get the next term. This is the minus four times table and we write down minus four N. To get from the minus four times table to sequence B, we must add 128 to each term. The nth term for sequence B is minus four N plus 128. For sequence B minus sequence A, the first term is 120 and the second term is 110. So we must subtract 10 from each term to get the next term, which gives us the minus 10 times table. To get from the minus 10 times table to the given sequence, we must add 130. The nth term for the difference between the sequence is minus 10n plus 130. Now that we have the nth term of the sequences, we can answer the questions. Question A. What would be the 30th term of sequence A? For the 30th term, we substitute n equals 30 in the nth term of sequence A, which gives us 6 times 30 minus 2. 6 times 30 equals 180 minus 2 equals 178. Question B. At what term will sequence B be minus 4? Nth term for sequence B is minus 4n plus 128 and this must equal minus 4. We subtract 128 from both sides to get minus 4n equals minus 132. We now divide both sides by minus 4 to n equals 33. The 33rd term will be minus 4. Question C. At what term will sequence A equal sequence B? 6n minus 2 must equal minus 4n plus 128. We add 2 to both sides of the equation to get 6n equals minus 4n plus 130. We add 4n to both sides to get 10n equals 130. Divide both sides by 10 to give us n equals 13. Question D. At what term will the difference between the sequences be minus 10? The nth term for the difference between the sequences is minus 10 n plus 130 and this must equal minus 10. We subtract 130 from both sides to get minus 10 n equals minus 140. Divide both sides by minus 10 to get n equals 14. The 14th term will be minus 10. For more practice questions, subscribe to our website at www.11plusgenie.com and get full access to all our 11 plus online resources.